just going to tweet a little photo of you guys. It's okay, I'll put a filter on because it's still early. So we're in a huge, huge time of dynamic shifts and changes. Never really before has the modern human seen such a huge shift in change that we're going through now. And whenever there is a new player on the field, the game has to change. And the new player is technology. And this is a really strong player because it's taking over almost every single part of our lives. So education, medicine, our food, our water, it touches everything. Yet just like anything that changes, it kind of touches our, oh my God, part of our brains, where we like, we don't want it, we don't want to change, because what we're seeing now in society is a shift of our team players. The us, tweeting, and the them. The people that go, that is ridiculous. Now we know that whenever there's a break or a shift in society, it's hard for us to continue to connect. If there's going to be an us and a them, nothing good can come from that. Now, I'm definitely not saying to everyone, now, at the end of this talk, please come down here and drink the digital Kool-Aid. And I'm not suggesting that we all bow down and give it all up to King Google, although the boys in Silicon Valley would love that. What I am suggesting is not to go straight to throwing your pens and saying that's ridiculous. Because, like I said, this is the start of our huge dynamic shift. As an etiquette futurist, of course, I'm constantly, and I lecture on the topic and, and train all sorts of corporate teams on what's appropriate now as far as behaviours. Thanks for that tweet. But we have to push forward for us to progress into the future. And to do that, we have to adapt. I want to introduce you to a really good friend of mine. I'm going to ask him to come up on the stage. Thank you. Hi, Daryl. This is Daryl. Daryl is one of my favorite, favorite species of human. He's a Homo erectus. He's about 200,000 years old. He looks pretty good. A bit too much tan, I think. He's from the lower Paleolithic era. And the reason that I love Daryl and his mates is because this this time, they were so adaptive. They were the first hominoid to leave Africa, and we find their remains in all other countries, from Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Western Europe. Could you imagine the difference that these guys, Daryl and his mates, had to adapt to, to survive? Now, Charles Darwin said that the, po the people that survive, or any species that will survive, will be the ones that look around at their environment, perceive it, and adapt to it. That is survival. So what are we doing to adapt? Like I said, we, we don't want to just drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah? We don't want to go, yep, no worries, let's all put on our Google glasses and just flow with it. That's definitely not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is for us to understand that this is a choice that we make. Because so many times when I, when I do a, a segment on TV or anything about Google Glass or any other tech um, invention, people go, no, nah. <laughs> that's ridiculous. If anyone comes close to me with Google Glasses on their face, I'm going to punch them in the face. And I hear this constantly, yet they're telling me this on a tweet. So it's just that whole period of adjustment and not just throwing it away. Anything powerful or impactful in our history was a people movement. If you look back, whether you're a woman that stood up on a bus or a man that spent 27 years in prison, it's always the people that make the choices that move societies forward to survive, to adapt. Google's just a company. We are the market, so we should look at new technologies or inventions and say, what can this be? What can this be for us as a society to help us progress? Instead of saying, what about the children and our privacies? Say to these companies, like I do when I go speak to them, to say, what will you do about that? They have to create and they have to progress because they need to adapt as an organization to survive in our market. In time, we will just be a dot. 
And if we don't adapt, we won't survive. And what that means is everything that we're working towards to succeed and thrive for the generations and our family ahead, we will just merge into the dot that is Homo sapiens sapien. I'm sure that because of the shift that we're in and the dynamic change, we're worth more than that. I suggest that we are the start of a new species, and that species is called Homo 2.0. We get to make the choice of what we do, what we do with our futures, and I would suggest start to think about what you can use technology for, how you can use it to connect with people. Start to learn from the next generation, learn with them. Remember, coding's coming in as a core subject at school. Learn with them because the future is for them, for us to be the new species of human, that Homo 2.0, we have to adapt to change. Thank you.